Okay, everyone, my hamstrings are getting extremely tight. So I'm like, mm, I might run today. I'm like, I probably should stretch these suckers. And I'm like, why don't I just show everyone how to how I stretch the hamstring because it's a little bit different. I want you to try this, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Hi everyone, Steve Gunzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. Um, so this stretch is typically when someone stretches their hamstrings, they do this thing, right? They do one of these jobbies. They lay on the ground and pull their foot over their head. Um, hamstring length is really important for injury prevention. It's important for running faster because when you run, you need that leg to be able to extend out to get you down the road. And what I'm feeling is when I run, I'm having trouble opening the stride. I feel my hamstring um, when I try to like jump over something, it's like hard to reach a little bit because I have that tightness. So I wanna show you a better way to stretch your hamstring. Now real quick, before I show you the stretch, there is a link in this post. We do have the Run Smart app is discounted to $99 a year. Works out about $8.25 a month. Um, to get all your training plan, strength workouts, stretches like this, injury protocols, everything you need to run awesome this year. So be sure to check out the link in this post. It does expire, and I think it goes through the 14th, which is Sunday, so it is limited. So, okay, uh, this stretch, we're gonna get rid of this hamstring stretch. We're gonna get rid of the laying on the ground. I wanna make it a little bit more dynamic. So I'm gonna put my foot up on here. I'm gonna get lit up, because I'm telling you guys, I'm pretty tight right now. So both feet facing straight ahead. I like to do a little glide forward, and then I'm gonna sit back, let this leg straighten. And I can tell you already, I'm feeling this, I'm gonna bounce forward a little bit. I'm feeling this all through the back of my leg. You can see my knee's not straight, but it's very tight. So I, I can do one of two things here. I can hold it, and I suggest that you're gonna hold this stretch, you're gonna sit. I don't want you reaching for your toes, because you can see how much flexion I'm getting from my back here. If you get this leg straight, and you want more stretch, just bow from the hip. Do not round your back. So after a run, I did this today, I did five miles today, I got back here and I held this for about 20 to 30 seconds and let that stretch pull through here. Um, after your runs, after you're warmed up, a long hold is way better than a short, a short hold. So um, I sit back, I hold for about 20 seconds, and then I glide forward, release that stretch, get myself in some hip flexion, and then come back. I like this stretch a lot, but here's where it gets a little dicey and a little bit fun. I definitely recommend trying this out. So I'm gonna let this leg come back. Now the hamstrings are dynamic tissue. So what I'm actually gonna do is try not to fall over when I do this. I'm gonna turn this a little bit so I have some room. I'm gonna take my hips side to side. So what, what you're seeing here is me doing this with my hips, but I'm gonna lengthen the hamstring out and then I'm gonna glide side to side with it. So foot up, sit back till I feel it start to stretch, glide my hips left, glide my hips right. When I glide my hips left, I'm gonna get a nice pull on the outside lateral part of my hamstring. When I come in, I'll get a little bit different through the growing and through the medial hamstrings. And I'm gonna just go side to side. This one I don't hold too much. I just work from side to side. So really dynamic because this motion through your hips does happen when you're running. Like when that leg comes out, guess what happens? The pelvis opens and it, it turns and it glides. So the last one, so we have the first one, which is here. I like this one, is a static hold after running. Then we transition to a little bit more dynamic after that one. If you're doing this before running, you can just go there and back. It's much better to do a little bit more, uh, less of a hold as a warm up to get your stride to open up and, and loosen up your hamstrings. But the final piece, and I wanna show you this, this to you, is working on another plane that a lot of people miss, which is the turning plane. This is something, this is an exercise we use inside the Run Smart app. And before I forget, there is a link in this post to the Run Smart app. It is discounted through Sunday. Um, so be sure to check it out if you want pretty much everything you need uh, to run injury free, to run fast, training plan, strength workouts, stretches, just like this. So the last piece is that twisting motion. So this is a golden one. I'm gonna show you on the other leg here. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna drop down until I feel, oh my God, that is so tight. Uh, I'm gonna drop it back until I start to feel it. And we did side to side, which you guys saw. We did front to back. Now I'm gonna open, open up all through my hips and my pelvis, and then I'm gonna try to close. And I can tell you, oh my God, that's as far as I can go. By turning on this pelvis, we're actually gonna pull on that lateral outside hamstring, and pull it, and then let it go, open it back up. These motions through your pelvis happen when you run. Guess what doesn't really happen when you run? Sit on your bum and reach for your toes and then just round your back a ton because this is also stretching. You don't need a stretch from your back. You're looking for a stretch from the hamstring. So this is going to give you a much more realistic and functional approach to stretching your hamstrings for running. And if you think about this, um, this is 
granted, I'd be really overstriding here, but this is the leg stretching out for the ground. This is where a lot of people get limited because they don't have good length back here and they can't open their strides. And guess what? It slows you down, it gets you, it causes you to get hurt. So try this out. I'll run through them again real quick. Hamstring stretch, stop reaching for your toes. First one, glide forward, sit back and stretch. You're gonna hold for 20 seconds five times. If it's a post run, you're going to just pause back and forth like this. If it's a pre-run, then we have side to side. So get back into your stretch where you feel it. Take the hips left to right. And then we have the twisting, turning. You're gonna do both legs. Um, sit back, open, close. Now I like to open and close the side to side about 10 to 20 times. I'm gonna be hitting this hard for the next week because I can tell you I tried to jump over a snowbank and I could barely reach with my left leg. Something's going on there, we're gonna fix it. Um, hope this helps, try it out. Even if you don't feel like you have tightness, just see how it feels right to left. A lot of times uh, one side's way tighter than the other. And if you want help with your running, check out the link in this post, Run Smart app, discounted through Sunday. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.